Welcome to the site of your next team challenge, the Auberge de Pommier. It's beautiful. It is classy, elegant, sophisticated. It is stunning. This French fine dining restaurant has been providing North Toronto with exceptional cuisine for 30 years. Wow. wow. Today is your job to keep that tradition alive. If you don't, Chef Michael will be very disappointed with you. Because he owns the place. <laughs> now, during service, we'll get feedback from my valued guests. But in the end, it will be Alvin, Claudio, and I that decide which team wins. And which team goes to the pressure test. Please change into your chef whites and meet Michael in the kitchen. I won't send out appetizers or main courses until everything is at the pass to go. And if it sits too long, it gets redone. Do not let me down. Yes, chef. Good luck. Et bonne chance. Let's go, Red. The dining room is filling up. Orders will be coming in soon. Pick up the pace on the prep. How you doing, boss? I'm doing great. How you doing, Trevor? Good, buddy. I'm good. Don't fraternize with the enemy. <laughs> Can I start egg washing? You're good. The restaurant is full. We have 52 guests out there. Don't let go of this for me. Yes, yes chef. Service is starting now. All right, let's rock and roll. Red team, order in. Two artichoke salad, two consomme. Her chef. For the appetizer service, Barry and Trevor are building the artichoke salad. OK, so we'll go artichoke, chip, green. Let's build them. And I'm on duck consomme watch. Blue team, ordering two consomme and two salad of artichoke. Yes, yes chef. chef. Miranda is doing all our soup. Five minutes on the consomme. Five minutes on the consomme. I'm cooking the artichoke salad, and Aaron is plating. Chef, there's order number one, two artichoke okay. salad. Barry, that looks great. Well done. Keep it up. Blue team order in. Two consomme, two artichokes. Two more artichokes. Hey! Chef Michael's expediting, and I'm relaying orders to my crew. Toss them in a bowl. Give them to me, please. Okay. We're rolling like a well-oiled machine. Coming out with consommes. Bring it up. Artichokes ready in 30 seconds. Got to be careful. No communication, and your service is going to break down. Two consommes to the pass. These look good. Thank you, chef. Service. I need more artichokes in here. Red team, two salad, two consomme. Two more salad, two more consomme. When the orders start coming in, I'm listening to Chef Michael, but I'm waiting for Barry to call to me. Red team, new order in. One artichoke salad and three consomme. Can I get a yes on that? Yes, chef. Thank you, Trevor. Are you the team captain? Barry, yes, chef him. Yes, chef. Thank you. Barry, two of those salads ASAP. Working on it. I can't believe how hard it is to keep track of what goes with what. Come on, Barry. I need body choke salads, and I need them right now. What is going on? I'm overwhelmed at this point. Hello. Enjoy. Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you? I'm good. So how are you enjoying the Red Team's soup? So this is really <laughs> delicious, very flavorful. I love the pastry presentation on the top. Being able to mm. pop into it yeah. is definitely fun. All right. Enjoy the rest of your meal. <laughs> Thank you. So you had the Blue Team's artichoke salad. Yes. Some bites were very salty, and some were not seasoned at all. There's like an earthy flavor in the, in the sauce that is really nice. Let's try the Red Team's consomme. Wow. That pastry, it's nice and flaky. It's perfectly cooked. That is beautiful, isn't it? But broth right. needs a bit of salt. I agree with Claudio that it could be just seasoned a touch more, just to hit that peak. Hey, let's try the blue teams. All right. It's just a little more seasoned, which just rounds it out pretty down close to perfection. I think the blue team take it on the seasoning. It's a great start. Now let's try the artichoke salad. I see a difference in the way that they plated both salads. Immediately. The red team seems to have a more of a clean, concise look. The blue team, on the other hand, it's much wider. OK, we'll taste the red team first. I really like the combination of flavors. Beautiful, nicely seasoned. I would be happy eating this salad at Auberge, or in the south of France, or just about anywhere. Now let's try the blue team's artichoke. The artichoke could be in the pan just a little bit longer because, you know, I'm not getting that right caramelization. 
They didn't evenly distribute the salt, and I noticed that when they were seasoning it. They were right here seasoning. You need to be above it so that those flakes just naturally fall over the entire salad. The red team seems to have the edge here. I think all in all, they did a great job getting the appetizers out. Let's see how we do with the main courses. For the entree course, guests will choose between a beef tenderloin and a seared monkfish. The entree orders are coming in. The beef, please. Medium rare. The beef, medium rare. Okay. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. All right. Blue team, two filet, medium rare. Yes, yes chef. chef. Make sure you season those steaks well, huh? Eh? Yes, chef. I'm cooking steaks. Taya's working the veg. Miranda's working the fish. How far out are you, Aaron? Nine minutes on the first two. Heard. Red team, four beef, two medium, two medium rare. Heard, oh, chef. Trevor's responsibility for the main service is the beef filet. Doing the fish. I am responsible for the monkfish dish, and it'll be plated by Barry. How long out on those first order of steaks, Trevor? Four or five minutes, Barry. I feel the beef tenderloin dish is the most difficult to nail on this menu, and I really want that to be on me. I feel that I could handle it all on my own. The main orders are coming in so fast. Blue team, four more fillets, all medium rare, and two monkfish. Two fillets, both medium rare, and two monkfish. This is freaking intense. Immediately, we're frazzled. How far out are you, Aaron? Uh, where did my ladle go? Okay, blue team, I need some food up here, please. How long out on those first order of steaks, Trevor? Give me one minute. You got one minute, exactly. Come on, guys, you're gonna have to focus now. Coming out right now. That's medium. Did it hurt? That's not medium. That's rare. I need a medium steak, and I need it now. The hardest thing about the beef dish is definitely nailing the cook on the beef. I'm having a hard time gauging it just by touching the outside. Red team, what's holding things up? Undercooked steak, chef. Come on, red team, I need this order. Yes, chef! Over in the blue kitchen. Watch that pan, it's looking a little too hot for my liking. Aaron seems to have the opposite problem. I want it seared, not burnt. Regulating the temperature on these induction burners, it's a juggling act. I do not want to get back in there, OK? Yes, chef. Take them off the pan if you feel like they're going to burn. Yeah, hold on. I've never seen Aaron look so stressed ever. Watch your pan again there, Aaron. Look at it. It's smoking. Aaron, do you need help? What? Do you want me to get on some steaks? No. Aaron. Yes, chef. Look at all that smoke. This one is, is burnt. You can't serve a steak that is black on the edges like that. That's a waste of good steak. I'm feeling like we're drowning. That's rare. Like, these have been in the oven. Longer on the pan. I need the steak. My fish is dying up here. Barry, or Barry, what do you think? Medium rare. Maybe just. Is the steak on the plate yet? Plating right now, chef. Thank you. Chef, two fish, two medium rare. That looks very good. All right. Table 25. Trevor, are you still in the weeds, or are you good? No, I'm good. I'm good now. Guests at the red team tables are receiving their entrees. I ordered medium rare, and it's exactly medium rare. The steak is delicious. The blue team's customers are not so lucky. <laughs> OK, blue team, when can I get some food from you? Uh, two minutes, chef, followed by the second one in five. Aaron, what do you need from me? Aaron doesn't have to be a hero. I can come in and help. Aaron, I need an answer. You cook me four medium. I'll take care of all the medium rare. OK, four medium. I got these. You need to finish those plates. We need to get them out. Yeah, we're finishing them right now. How far out, Aaron? Coming right up. I'm right behind. Heard. Plating right now. You have potatoes coming for me, yes, Taya? Yeah. You're amazing. Thank you. Wind fell out of my sails for a minute there, but still got a handle on this. Four medium rare fish are following, chef. Service, please. Nice looking plates here, Aaron. Thank you, chef. Table 27. Thank you very much, Miranda. I'm sorry that I put you in that spot. Yeah. Now, both teams are sending out entrees at a steady pace. Hello, ladies. Hello. So, you order medium rare? Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Cooked perfectly, the potatoes were great. The presentation was really well done. I think it's perfect. And you? I really am enjoying how the meat is cooked. It's very tender. It's yeah. just a wee bit undersalted for my Undersalted. Yeah. So a little slightly under season. Hi. You're not touching your beef here. No, it's not quite the temperature I ordered. And you think it's a little bit too rare, right? I think it's right? a little too rare. I'm going to get you in the right away. Thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate it. 
Hey, Michael, Michael, they order medium, and look at that. Mary, come here. This was medium. What color is that? That's rare. OK, I'll medium fix it right medium. away. Fix it medium, and make sure it doesn't happen again. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Mistake comes back, and it's undercooked. This is my fault. Come on, Trevor, I need that recooked steak. Just let it rest. It's coming right out, chef. Give me one minute here. If I can't figure out the doneness of these steaks, we're going to lose this challenge, and I'm going to be the cause. Perfect. Chef, order up. Refired medium. Sorry, chef. Thank you. All right, let's go. Service. All right. There you go. How's that? That looks great. Enjoy the rest of this. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Service, let's go. Thank you. Red team, blue team, service is over. Good job. Good job. Good job. Mm. That was so good. So good. The guests will now fill out comment cards, which the judges will take into consideration when deciding which team wins and which team faces the pressure test. So, Michael, that was intense. It's always a roller coaster ride, but you love every moment of it. OK, we've got two monkfish dishes here. Let's try the red team's fish. Oh, my goodness. That is delicious. Cooked on the fish is perfect. And notice the fry on the prosciutto, that nice color. Nicely done. Now let's try the blue team's fish. Look at the prosciutto on this. The ham is drier. It's charred here. They didn't get even caramelization. Flavors are still very good on the blue team, just not as nicely cooked as the red team. It's safe to say, on this particular main course, the red team's got it. Absolutely. Now let's try the filet. The cook on the meat on the blue team, it's uneven. It's blood rare in the middle and overcooked on the outside. That's a sign that the pan was too hot. Look at that, it's charred. It burns. Yeah. Look at that. Where you look at the cook on the red team, it is cooked perfectly. Let's taste the red. The steak needs a little salt and pepper. Under season. I think so. It needs more salt, for sure. Now let's try the blue team's filet. Aaron, even though he was struggling with his pan and getting the right cook on the steaks, the seasoning is spot on. The red team looks better. The blue team tastes better. I got to tell you, I've done a complete U-turn here. Right now, I think the blue team has the edge. Deciding a winner was not easy. Blue team, you burnt more than just a few steaks, and I had to send some back at the pass. Red team, you had one undercooked steak sent back which is one steak too many. The team that is safe from elimination is... The red team. Yes! yes! Boom! Red team, baby. Oh, my god, we're not back. <laughs> I love motorcycles. I love riding motorcycles. I can't ride myself, so I'm a passenger. <laughs> if you like motorcycles as much as I do, this is your lucky day. We've invited a few enthusiasts for lunch. There are actually 200 on their way here <laughs> right now to offer those bikers a culinary experience that's as exciting and satisfying as a sweet ride on the open road. We think the best way to do that is with a creative spin on the most popular roadside meal of all, burgers and fries. Yeah. 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 These bikers are worthy of your very best. Many of them are involved in a charity called Ride for Sight, which raises millions of dollars for the visually impaired. I think that's really cool. Today, we're dividing you into three teams. You now have two hours to plan, prep, and cook your burgers and fries before your booths open for business. And then you have only one hour to sell your meals. Are you ready? Yes, Time starts now! We can do uh, maybe like a, a beef and pork burger. I want grated yeah, cheddar yeah, in the burger. Yeah. So there's cheese in the burger. And then I was thinking like Cajun fries. That's amazing, Matt. Burgers and fries isn't really my forte. So I need to bring some bold flavors to this 
I want to make sure I have a hand in all the seasoning, yes, guys. Absolutely. And, and then, every, guys, we have to taste as we go. I would like to make a burger from the chuck. I don't like fancy burgers. The burger has to be a burger. I don't want any burgers pre-seasoned because I don't want it to bleed out. I've never heard of making beef patties that aren't seasoned, but that's how we're doing it. Iceberg lettuce. I don't want anything else. I want pork and ground biscuit. For the fries, I'm going to do lemon zest. I'm going to do salt, garlic. I'm feeling pretty confident because I know with a good plan, we can win. I'll start mixing the meat, and you can help Miranda with blanching right. and cutting the Perfect. fries. One, two, two three, three, red! red. 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 The first thing that comes to mind for me with a burger is big, juicy, and flavorful. Yes, but we want to see something creative. This can't be your everyday burger. We are making a bacon jam burger with Swiss cheese, arugula, and crispy shallots. I like my burgers with a lot of added flavor components. I put some soy sauce, some Dijon, some mayonnaise to get uh, some moisture. Delicious. I'm putting a little bit of uh, cayenne powder. Tie it in with the fries. Yeah, exactly. We're doing a burger with ground chuck, ground pork. It's going to be spicy. It's going to have bacon. It's going to have cheese in the burger ground yeah. up. Yeah. It's going to have this melty explosion of flavors. <laughs> you know, when you got good quality beef, I don't see the point of sticking all kinds of junk in it. We are making a beef burger with some bacon and pimento cheese, minimal toppings. This whole monkey business about a fancy hamburger, not my thing. Come on, guys, let's go, let's go, let's go. In this challenge, leadership is critical. Is that good for you? That's perfect, that's perfect. Barry, everything's good on your end? Yeah. Alicia is a force to be reckoned with. Make sure everything's well seasoned. Yeah. Do you think we should cut off some of the acidity of the lemon? What do you guys think? Oh, well, there's honey in there, right? Yeah, I think you'll be fine. May is running her kitchen on the Democratic side. Nice to see. I just hope it lasts. Everything comes through me, please. On the other hand, Aaron is taking control of his team, making the decisions over there. It's either we do it right or we don't do it at all. We are going to serve every burger medium rare. We For should sure. be confident enough to serve it the way we intend it to be eaten. I'm not a fan of doing the medium rare burger. You good? Yeah. But Aaron's in charge, so I'm just going to trust what he says. Aaron is very confident about his approach to his burgers. We're having 200 hungry bikers. This is a time where you have to cook something that they like, not what you like. We have to be really, really fast. I'm trying. Do you want me to do it? <sighs> Communicate. I can do it. Justine and Miranda don't get along. This is not working. OK, come on, go, 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 go. Justine, get started on the burgers and Miranda on the fries. I have to just give them very specific tasks and not have them interact. Did someone lower the oil heat yet to 275? No, I didn't. You're in charge of the fries, OK? Yeah, I just don't know Perfect. how to. I just want to make sure, because that way we won't step on each other's toe. This is my nightmare. How are you all doing here? Very well, Doing well, chef. What's on your burgers? They look very, um, very simple. Almost. I want I want the meat to be the meat. Let me get this straight. So there's no seasoning in here right now. Nothing. There's nothing. Chef. No salt. No salt, chef. Tell me about your toppings, because your toppings are going to need to be absolutely killer in order for this to work. We're doing a southern style pimento cheese, chef. Ooh. What we've got is butter, sour cream, mayonnaise, chopped cheese, chopped fire roasted pepper. Do you like it? I don't like it. You I love it. it. I love it. Oh, wow. Why you got to scare me like that, Chef? That's awesome. That's awesome. <laughs> All right. Thank, Thank you, you for chef. stopping by, Chef. Stay focused. Atta boy, Aaron. Hello, Chef Claudia. What is happening here? We're just starting, and we have a lot of fat in these burgers because we're doing pork in them, so we want to give them a nice sear and then finish on the grill. What is this right here? This, we have the cheddar cheese in the burger. Let's take a little look here. Yes. That's not the color that we're looking for. You know why that's happening, right? Cheese. The cheese. The cheese will burn. Did you already mix your cheese with your, all your burger meat? Yes, yes, yes. So you're at the point of no return. We can't afford to have any burgers burn, or we're going to be looking at a problem. Matt, watch out. Make sure they're not overdone, please. 10 minutes. You have 10 minutes left. Oh, you hear that, guys? You hear those bikes? Hold talk. The bikers are arriving. Riders on the storm! Now 
now it's getting look, intense look, look here. They do look a little bit hungry. You know, this is about sales. So that's what's going to count in the end in winning. The more burgers you can pump out in that one hour, the greater chance of driving your sales to the top. I'll just pass you the burgers when they're done. By the time service begins, we want a lot of plates built. We don't want them to wait. Two minutes! We're going to roll restaurant style and put quality before quantity. I don't want to pile up 30, 40 burgers. I want every customer to get a hot burger made to order. Aaron and the red team, they're way behind time. They don't know what's coming. The worst thing that can happen is all three of us go and flip patties. I don't want to flip patties today. Is everybody on track? Yeah. Beautiful. Guys, we got this. Let's go. We're the Burger Bay! Burger Bay! Ten, nine, eight, Here we seven, six, five, four, three, two, Bikers will now choose between the red team's chuck and short rib burger with pimento cheese and garlic butter fries. All right, thank you so much. The blue team's bacon and cheddar burger with Cajun spiced fries. Enjoy, guys. And the green team's beef and pork burger with bacon onion jam and blue cheese fries. We're representing the ladies today, so come get your burgers. Guys, I need more people up here. All of a sudden, we've got this lineup 100 people deep. Get that line going. I'm going. I'm freaking out. We got to get these burgers out. Where's the Thomas cake? Come on. It's really, really difficult. There's a huge lineup at our station, but we're cranking out burgers, and we're doing it pretty quickly. Here you go. Thank you. Good luck, girls. Thank, Thank you. you. The red team also has a long line, but it's barely moving. We're a little behind on the, the burgers, guys. Trevor, how are we doing on burgers back there? Yeah, they're still cooking like three minutes out. Thank you for being so patient, guys. Service is snowballing into chaos. Okay, we should have gone these burgers way ahead of time. Yeah. <sighs> Hungry people waiting. It's no good. If you don't want to wait in line, you can come over here. I was waiting in the red line for a really long time, and it just wasn't moving. We're going to lose customers if we don't hustle. How are you guys doing? Good. Great. Great. What do you think of the green team burger? Green team burger is awesome. I'd go back for another one. Of Thanks for coming to Burger Bay. Would you like two? Yes. OK, I'll get it for you right now. So you're eating a burger from the blue team. How does it taste? It's fantastic. What really stands out is the flavor of the burger and the caramelized onions. I chose the blue team. The burger had spice in it, and the fries also had spice on them. And I felt like I kind of got double spiced. I chose the red team. The bacon was good in it. The pimento cheese I liked. The sauce rocked. It was really, really tasty. Good flavor. Thank you so much. I chose the red team. It was worth the wait. I think their burger is amazing. How are you enjoying the burger? It's looking a little pink that inside. That is totally unacceptable. Which team was that from? That was team red. The red team. Let me take that back. I'll have it replaced right away. Aaron, we have an issue here, buddy. Look. Check. That is too underdone. Yes, sir. That is totally unacceptable. Yes, sir. I need a replacement right away, now. Not everybody likes their burger medium rare. Another red burger. They're coming back. That's insane. Come on, guys, let's go. Sorry about that. I need one on the fly right now. I'm starting to think that I've misjudged the challenge. Blue team, green team, red team. Service is over! Congratulations. You just faced down a daunting crowd of 200 hungry bikers. All your burger and fry combos had their fans. But this challenge comes down to one thing, sales. And only one team sold enough to save themselves from the pressure test. Winning the day by just eight Orders. Oh, my oh. God. What? <laughs> and welcome to Black Creek 
Pioneer Village, the site of your very first team challenge. It's also about to become a very special site for these folks right here with us today. They hail from 16 different countries from all around the world. They speak several different languages and practice a number of different religions. But they all have one thing in common. They're about to become Canadian citizens. My family came from India to Montreal, Canada 35 years ago. And this is extremely special to me because I know how much potential these new Canadians have. I myself am from Meet Nom. I came here when I was four. So I really know how special of a day it is for them. Today, you'll be creating a MasterChef Canada feast for these new Canadians. What an honor to cook a meal for people on what could be the biggest day of their lives. Now it's time for all of you to prepare for your citizenship ceremony. When we see you next, you'll be Canadian citizens. So go work up an appetite. Today, each team will only have two hours to create a beautiful buffet-style meal to honor 105 new Canadians and their families. Are you ready to create an unforgettable feast? Yes, yes Chef! Chef! Your time starts now! Go, 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 go guys! Oh. All right, guys, we've got this. Red, red, red. All right, Alicia, you're very good with curry. Do you want to be in charge of that? Sure, yes. Perfect. You know, this menu planning is so important because it's the opportunity for the team captain to establish the direction. I'm doing yellow curry with... Well, I'll have the final say. No. I want all ideas, but ultimately okay. it's going to be my decision, yes. guys. I mean, obviously, it's very important to let everyone know who's boss. We could throw some heat in there with some of the jalapenos. We're going to have heat from the curry, though. I want this to be a nice, mellow dish. I would have liked to have my voice heard a little bit more. But Miranda is the leader on this one, and I need to listen to her. I'm okay. tasting everything before we have final approval. If I don't like it, we've got to think of a new idea, guys. With all these curries and everything, I want to do a nice light, like, frisee salad. For rice, I want to do a play on the mehadra, a saffron-flavored rice with sultana raisins, slivered almonds. On the red team, it looks as if Justine is taking ideas from all the home cooks. For the salad dish, we've got the beets. I'm sure we can find some dill somewhere. It almost appears that Aaron's in charge. I have strong people in my team, and I'm worried they're going to take the beets. All right, guys, 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 listen up. But they have to listen to me. I'm the team captain. Are you all good with that? Yes. Perfect, let's do this. One, One two, two, three. three. Let's keep the communication up. Yes. Chop the onions first. I got the onions. Taya's job today is the vegetable curry. Do you think that if I fill that pot up, that's going to be 100? No, we need probably two of those. OK. I just need to make sure the flavor is right. A bad curry is certainly not the way you want to welcome new Canadians. Kimberly's going to make a spinach fennel cucumber tomato salad. Well, why am I making salad? I came here from Jamaica. I have a really strong background with curry. Just doesn't make sense. And May is responsible for the shrimp noodle dish. This is a marinade that I grew up with. I know that you guys know your flavors. I trust you guys. We need salt. I already added all. salt. We have a lot of elements. Please keep up. I will not let you down. We are making a bell pepper pasta with lots of spices. Barry is fully in charge of the pasta. Probably 10 minutes away on those peppers. OK. I'm comfortable with pasta. My only concern, I've never cooked pasta for 105 people. We decide to make a chicken curry. I'm the curry queen, and I can't wait to show what I can do. Trevor is in charge of salad with Jordan. I'm working on our vinaigrette. I think everyone knows that I'm capable of creating really elevated flavors. Come on, guys. Good. Ginger! Guys, where is the ginger? Ginger's in the cooler. Ginger in the cooler. Ginger in the cooler. Cooler, cooler. Is cooler. Oh, cooler. Oh, Look at the red team. Everybody's yelling orders. You know, why all this commotion? We're just talking loud. We're not yelling Go at anybody. We're not yelling. Okay. We're not Everybody yelling. Everybody remain calm. It just seems chaotic and a lot of over necessary communicating. Guys, I have the ginger. Jordan's got the ginger, Red I team. I have the ginger. Oh, thank you so much. It's wasted energy. Holy crap. Let's get this together. <laughs> Hi, Chef Claudio. Is this your curry right here? Yes, it is. 
wow. Miranda, this is so watery. Are you making a soup or an actual curry? I wanted to trust Haya's curry ability, but I'm getting really worried. Who's going to take the heat if it doesn't work out? We win as a team, we sink as a team. This isn't right. This could cost us the win. I am pretty nervous. The curry is quite liquidy. You know what I would do with this? Take some potatoes and use potatoes as a thickening agent, because there's a lot of starch in the potatoes. Chef Claudio has a great idea that if I boil potatoes in the curry, it will definitely thicken in time for service. You don't have much time, and use it wisely. I will, Chef. Taya, get potatoes chopped now. I need to clear a space. Pick it up, Taya. Do this, do that. Get your craft together. Go, hurry. I feel like I am a child, and my parents are scolding me. Let's not lose our cool here, guys. Like, make everything perfect. Did you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. I'm the captain. I want to hear you guys when I speak, please. Absolutely, Justine. I think the nerves are getting the better of Justine right now. I'm small, but I can talk. Justine, what kind of curry is this? It's a mixture. It's a yellow, green, kind of like an Indian Thai fusion. I like to make my own curry. Wow. Okay. You going to put some coconut milk in here? Yes, it's really okay. going to be tasty. All right, keep on stirring. Yes, chef. Really good, guys. Keep it going. I'm super happy. I'm happy you're happy, Captain. Our shrimp is ready to be cooked, but there are no free burners available. I, I need a cooktop. We need the cooking space for the shrimp. We found out very quickly that real estate on the stove is hard to come by. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. So I moved some water off the industrial stove and got those shrimps going. Guys, I need help over here. I look back at May, and there's a bowl of shrimp there. I will take care of this. May, you're in charge of the chow mein. How's it going? It's not going good. Uh, we don't have a boil in our water. White team, you need to get that water on for the noodles in smaller pots, ready for the chow mein. I've had little pots of water on the boil. Why did anyone take them off? Bad idea. The water was boiling. Next time I turn around, where's all the freaking pots? OK, chop, chop. Yes, chef. Matt, get the stock off and get the water pot on there. That's what I'm doing. 15 minutes left. Final push. I need you concentrated. Very pasta in there now. I need three minutes, otherwise three we're going to run out. That's it. Out. Medic. Get those burners on high. Get them on high. Both these teams are falling apart. Matt, help me carry this over. All of a sudden, I'm getting lightheaded and seeing stars. I'm kind of starting to have a little bit of blurred vision. I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed. Matt is essential. If we lose him, we're down for the count. I'm not going to give up. Hey, guys, I'm going to jump in and help. I'm just pushing through because I know that we need to get this food out. Come on, guys, we can do this. We're going to bring this back. Let's do this. Thank God Matt is doing OK. Nothing better than a victory when we face some adversity. You think they'll be ready in time? I don't think so. I mean, I, I don't know how they're going to pull it off. Throw noodles in there. Water's boiling. I'm worried we won't have anything to serve these people on a very special day. I think we're going to have to jump in and give these guys a I hand. would agree. Let's get those shrimp going. Let's go. Miranda, get this in a chafing dish. Let's go. Guys, careful. Where is the pasta? Right here. It doesn't look appetizing. Put it in the food processor so it becomes a lot smoother. OK? OK, good. Get the cashew in there. You want to thicken it, right? Yeah. Get it in now. I need rice now. I'm going crazy. I got one more pot of pasta. Mary, we don't have time for this. This is the most intense thing I've ever done. Aaron, put that rice in. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. Surface starts now. Get that food out. Congratulations. Enjoy. You like it spicy? OK, well, then I think you'll like this one. The white team is serving up vegetable curry with steamed rice, shrimp chow mein with peanut sauce, and a tomato fennel salad with citrus vinaigrette. May not be the most beautiful, but it will be tasty. There you go. Enjoy. Congratulations. The red team is offering a roasted red pepper and fennel pasta, chicken curry, and chickpea and spinach salad with dill vinaigrette. It's an honor to cook for you today. Enjoy your pasta. 
red team is the special team for my special day because I feel like the white is very plain. So I made the curry paste from scratch. I hope you'll enjoy. Were there any favorites in your mind? I like the white plate better because it was well cooked, very flavorful, spicy, which goes well with my palate. The red plate, perfect. This chicken curry is delicious. I like the red pasta because it has a lot of flavor. You get to vote for the buffet meal you like the best. Take a red or white maple leaf and put it in the ballot box. May the forks be with you. <laughs> As you know, each guest cast their vote for the team whose meal they liked the best. And the winning team won by just 13 votes. My team never gave up. I know that we got this. Everyone worked their ass off. We so deserve this. Are you ready to find out who won? Yes, yes chef! chef! The team that will now move forward to the top 10 is... <laughs>